us now on the Deseret First Credit Union hotline during Rivalry Week is the great Max Hall, BYU quarterback, former NFL player. Max, welcome back to the show. I hate Utah. <laughs> <laughs> Right out of the gate. <laughs> I love What's going it. on, guys? I love it so much, Max. <laughs> I love it. You have just set the tone, my friend. Uh, how many more That's phone good. calls? How many more phone calls do you get during rivalry week compared to a normal week in your life? <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden, all the radio and TV guys want to talk to me again. So this week, I actually get to uh, do some shows. It's fun. All right, Max. There is this thought out there that since BYU beat Utah in 2009 a game that you're quite familiar with, and then afterwards had some uh, famous comments to say, got a preview just a minute ago, <laughs> that the Cougars have been cursed since then. How much do you buy into that? Well, honestly, I, I, I don't. I, I just think that BYU, I just think BYU has, hasn't shown up to play in those games, and bottom line is Utah has finished those games better than us, and they've been the better team. So I don't I don't buy into this curse thing. I'm sorry. Nor you don't have to say sorry, Max. Listen, you beat Utah two out of the three times. Because you know what that feels like and have done it. What's your message to the BYU football team this week? Well, I think I, I think this is a big week for them because it's not just uh the Utah game. I really do think that this game is gonna define the rest of the season for BYU. And they, they got to pick it up. You know, I, you have to give credit to LSU. That was a good football team and a really, really good defense. Um, but, come on, you can't have – you can't do what they did rushing the ball. They couldn't even run the ball. Um, they were less than 50% completion percentage. And they have to figure out on offense and get it together. Because if they don't, it's going to be a really long season. So I, I put some of it on the players. Those guys got to compete. I got to see more passion out of those guys. And uh, they got to show up to play. You know, the coaching staff got to figure it out. They got to do some different things offensively. I'd like to see them throw more screens, do stuff more on the edges, get the ball out of Tanner's hands a little bit. But this is a big week. And and I would just tell them that they need to come in with a mindset um, and an attitude that they're going to win that game, but also be able to control their emotions without all the penalties that they could potentially get. Max, during your playing career, was there ever a stretch where things just weren't working offensively? And, and, and if so, how did you work through that to get back on track? Um, I wouldn't say a stretch. We definitely had games where we struggled offensively. And, um, you know, sometimes I think coordinators, uh, they get really conservative when, you know, you have a turnover or things aren't working. And uh, you just kind of get stagnant. And, you know, for sure, BYU had one of those games offensively. So uh, this week of practice is big. It's, it's how they come out. It's the mindset they have. Um, are they going to be aggressive? Uh, they need to take a few more chances. But bottom line, they have to be better on first and second down. You can't have third and long all game and expect to uh, convert that. So they have to figure out how to run the football and get themselves in better situations on third down. Max Hall with us, former BYU quarterback, won two games against the University of Utah in his career wearing the stretch Y. During the season, Max, especially during weeks like this or coming off a bad game, how aware are you of the noise from fans and critics? Well, it's it's very easy to get caught up in that. And um, you can be very aware of it if you want to be. Um, I remember my sophomore year, um, at BYU, we lost to UCLA, and I read into all the articles and comments and was listening to everything and wanted to lock myself in a room and not come out. So the best thing that any of those guys do, especially Tanner right now, is to turn off social media, don't listen to anybody, only care about what your coaches and what your teammates are saying and figure out what you have to do as the leader of that football team to get better. The coaches have talked about the fact that they've noticed that with it being Utah week, it's actually helped refocus after what happened last week. Do, do you think it's a, a positive thing that this is the week this game is happening after what took place last week? I think it can be. I, I think uh, when you take a loss like that and you take a punch to the gut, um, you realize real quick that you're not as good as you think you are. And, uh, hopefully come out this week of practice with, like I said, a different mindset. So 
It, it might be a good thing. That I think BYU is going to be hungry. They're going to be eager to get back on the field. Um, they're going to be excited to play in this game. And I hope we hopefully we see a completely different BYU team, especially on the offensive side of the ball, against Utah on Saturday. BYU's winningest quarterback of all time, Max Hall, 32 wins to just seven losses. Let's say you're in a room one-on-one with Tanner Mangum this week. What are you saying to him, Max? Um, uh, first thing I would say to him is uh, learn from all your mistakes and then put it behind you. You know, the last two games are done and over with. Look forward to look forward to this game in Utah. I would spend as much time uh, with him, just sitting him down, just making sure he knows the game plan. He's on the same page with his guys, and that he's confident in his reads and in his throws. Because one one thing that I kind of noticed in that game is he just never looked comfortable. Uh, he looked hesitant, and even when he threw the ball, I don't think he was confident in his throws. So. He needs to learn how to be confident. He needs to practice that and practice and get on the same page and not worry about anything else than just going out and executing and playing a good football game. Don't pay attention to any of the outside distractions. How important will it be, with everything going on in this game, to control emotions? How, how much of a factor will that be in determining the winner, especially early on in the game? I mean, it's always a factor in the, in the Utah game. Emotions are going to be high. And, you know, we always kind of say that the team that can control that the best and not get dumb penalties and uh, get outside of them, like be an individual, get outside of what the team's trying to do. Um, Just do your job, play with that emotion and play with that aggression, but don't let it, don't make it bigger than what it needs to be. Execution is going to be more important um, than the emotion. Max, is one week a long enough time for BYU to figure some things out and get a win on Saturday? Well, it, it, it has to be, to be honest with you. They have to figure it out. Like I said, this is a defining game, not just the Utah game, but it's for the rest of their season. And, you know, everybody's kind of talking about the identity of the team right now, which I agree. Offensively, there's not really much of an identity going on. So figuring out what that is and then um, sticking to it, sticking to that game plan and then executing it. So um, hopefully it is enough time. It has to be. Max, somehow, some way, we need to get you to be one of the honorary flag bearers running the flag out every BYU Utah game. So I'll I'll talk to Coach Satake about that. Well, well, yeah, let him know. See if we can get me up there. Man. Ask him, ask him if I have any eligibility left too while you're at it. Okay. <laughs> you got it, man. Max, thanks for the time. Best luck to you at uh, American Leadership Academy moving forward. We'll talk to you again soon. Hey, thanks, guys. It's always fun to be on. Have a good one. All right, you got it, man. Thanks.